Hey, what's up guys? This is Quentin here and today we're going to learn the difference between a arithmetic or linear versus a logarithmic or log chart, okay? Or or scale. Um, it's the way that a that the software, for example, we're on TradingView right now, Bitcoin to the US dollar on a daily. Um, the way that the software scales the actual price. All right. So by default, when I pull up any chart on like TradingView, for example, um, it's going to bring up the linear or the arithmetic um, version of the chart by default. That's traditionally what is brought up. And I use um, a linear chart probably about 95% of the time. Anytime I'm doing any kind of technical analysis within a price range, which is smaller or within you know day trading swing trading that type of thing i'm always i'm always looking at things in the linear format okay when i'm looking at things over a long period of time with a huge price range for example um like bitcoin over you know since zero dollars to twenty thousand dollars i would if i want to see the whole chart itself i would switch over to logarithmic so click on log Go to auto here to look at it. And it gives me an overall view of the chart so I can see the overall chart better, okay? So let me explain exactly what's happening within the chart and why what, what the differences are, okay? So let's go back to the um, linear chart here. And what's happening here is I have a little, little diagram I did right here. Okay, so on the linear chart or arithmetic chart, each distance here in the right hand column of um, the axis of the price, we have like, say for example, say this was like 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, et cetera. The distance between these prices are equal distance. So 1,000 to 2,000 over here, is gonna be the same difference between 2,000 to 3,000 and so on and so on and so on. All right, now with the log chart, what it does is it actually adjust this for percentage so the percentages are equal so for example one thousand dollars to two thousand dollars is a thousand dollars in price increase but it's a hundred percent increase in price okay so you doubled it from one thousand to two thousand that's a hundred percent increase but it's only a thousand dollars now when i'm up here at five thousand dollars in order to get that same hundred percent increase I have to go from $5,000 to $10,000. So there's gonna be a $5,000 increase in price. You get the difference. So in order to, to um, the software, what it does is it works more on a percentage range on the right hand um, access or the price and it changes that. So we're working percentage rather than the price, equal price. Um, it doesn't affect, just to let you know, for on either logarithmic or um, linear, it doesn't affect the, the date or the time. So it's only affecting the price. All right, so, so what is this good for? So like I said, um, linear chart, I'm using 95% of the time for all of my technical analysis. I'm, I'm just looking at the chart with that. But if I'm looking at things, for example, I'm looking right now at... Um, Bitcoin and like if you first looked at it, if you're new to trading, you might look at this and say, you know what? It doesn't look like we had much of price gains back in the day. Like, yeah, back here, it just doesn't, the the actual percentage gains don't look that much. You know, it looks like we had this huge run up here, but um, we didn't have much, not the same gains as we had today. So it might visually look that way. Obviously, that's not the case because um, it started, you know, it started way down over here at at uh, at one dollar or whatever it started at. So um, if we go to logarithmic, I'm going to put auto scale here so it kind of opens it up a little bit. Um, now you can look at it and it looks more even. It looks more. Overall, you get an idea of this price run up here versus this price run up here. And you're like, wow, we actually did have a huge percentage gain increase. Now you can go in there and actually see how much percentage increase you did have. 
but visually it was hard to see on the linear scale. So that's really what it does. And, and when I go out and I really look on things on a macro level and I'm looking long term with um, Bitcoin and I'm trying to or any coin, I'm trying to get an overall view like of things and I might be taking some trend lines here and um, trying to figure out maybe where things will be in the future. I'm going to be on the logarithmic chart so I can really see the price and I can um, also the 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 um, the trend lines will work better with this long term view macro level of looking at things. But when you're down looking and or you're, you're working within this price structure up here and from, you know, from your daily day trades and your swing trades and things of that sort, you're going to want to stay with the um, linear and you're going to want to work within that because it's going to be more accurate and it's going to throw off your um, trend lines when you start using log. So that's the basics between the two. It's pretty simple. Um, I hope that explained. Also, too, if you go over to like, for example, Coin Market Cap, um, and you go into like Bitcoin, for example, here, and you know all the different coins have their little Bitcoin graph here. By default, you have the linear um, scale. And if you go to any kind of software or any kind of um, website where they have graphs, they usually have the linear and the log scale. And linear is once again by default. And then I'm looking at it, and I can't really see the whole price structure and how it relates to each other visually. So I can click on log scale and look at that. Now I'm like, okay, all right. Now I can kind of get an overall better view um, of where things been at with the with the price. And it just visually is a better, better look. But not only visually, I actually do technical analysis with the log scale on this macro um, time. So when you have that long distance, even though it doesn't, it's not check, um, affecting the distance, with that huge amount of price change, that's where you're gonna, it really makes a difference. So I hope that was helpful for you guys, that's clear. Um, if it was, please leave some comments and um, tell me if you like these kind of videos. Also, if you have any requests of any videos you wanna learn something about or um, something that you never really understood, um, this was just a very beginner's video. Um, if you've been in trading for a long time, as I'm sure you already know this, but it's something that even some traders been around trading for a year or two, and they still don't even really get it. They just stick with the linear. They don't understand what the logarithmic is, and they don't even really look into it. So um, just wanted to explain it. If you like this video, please go ahead and um, follow me, um, join the alerts, and also give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, thanks.